I have brought you along with me to a local shop. It's called The Weathered Home. It's in Morganton, North Carolina. We're going to go in and see what they got. So here we go. So guys, this store is absolutely beautiful. And I got to tell you, as soon as you walk in, it smells so good. So we're just going to go around and see what they've got. I actually had them make me a welcome sign for my front door. And I love it. Look at this mirror. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at all their wreaths, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. The sunflower wreaths. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, and look at the purple. So every time I come, they always have something different, something new. Valentine's Day. Oh, I love it. A little hand painted tray. And look at their mason jars. And I think they do faux painting um, classes here. I'll have to ask the owner about that. Oh, I just love that. That's just so pretty. And look at these guys. Gorgeous. Oh, look. Already sold. Absolutely beautiful. And look at the little winter birds. And I gotta show you guys, look how they've done their curtain in the window. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look at the wine rack. Very clever. The old looks like Coke bottle crates. Oh, farm fresh honey. Oh, it's beautiful. And look at their welcome sign. Oh, and look at that one with the rooster. Isn't he handsome? And look at their little pig. <laughs> So true, there's no place like home. <laughs> In my place, it would be Hope You Like Cat Hair. These are adorable. Oh, I just love it. <sighs> oh, and here's some more of the painted mason jars. Oh, I love the blue. And look at that. Oh, and look at the purple. How fancy. And they've got some towel rags and towel hooks. Oh, and look at their pottery, guys. That's beautiful. So pretty. Country charm. And look at this. Linens are really popular. Made tray. And here's a shot just kind of all around the store, guys. Oh, and look at the furniture. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Oh, look at this with the little owl on top. <laughs> Gorgeous way to use a wreath on a tabletop instead of hanging it on the wall. I absolutely love that. And look at this furniture. That's the most beautiful gray I've ever seen. Ooh, gorgeous. Very pretty. Oh, 
look again. We saw that somewhere else where um, people have taken jewelry and they make a picture out of their jewelry. Oh, these are little soaps with their handmade soap trays. another one. All oh, these are tea towels, guys. Look how cute. The bunnies for Easter. The little goat. <laughs> the chicken. And the donkey. Oh, this is really cute. Oh, and look at these platters, guys. These are actually wooden. $22. Oh, that's pretty. So this looks more like a baby section. And oh, look at these little hand-knitted sweaters. What an heirloom piece that would be, guys. Oh, my goodness. These are beautiful. So if you're looking for that special gift for someone who's going to have a baby or who's just recently had a baby, they've got all kinds of hats and blankets. Oh, and they're so soft and beautiful. I hope you guys will come up here and check it out. I'll link the address below. Oh, they actually make the clothes for the dolls. If you've got someone who collects dolls, They've got the little outfits for the doll. Oh my gosh, how adorable. Oh, gosh, I love that picture on the wall, $48. Beautiful. Oh, look at the little bunny ball. <laughs> oh, this is funny, my sarcasm has got to the point where I don't even know if I'm kidding. If you don't remember, it didn't happen. Oh, you are my happily ever after. Okay, who had a little high chair like that? <laughs> so cute. We rise by lifting others. So true, kindness changes everything. Look at the beautiful bench. Oh, teapot. Yes, it does make me happy to be in here. Oh, they've got some soaps, handmade soaps. Sage and bubble gum and oatmeal honey, blackberry. Oh, that one smells good. Juniper breeze, fresh ginger, vanilla lavender. Oh, I bet that smells good. Oh, it does. And then they've got more down here, guys. Looks like some pillows. Look at the pillows, how pretty. Oh, look at this bowl, how pretty. $22, gorgeous. Oh, and look at these wreaths, guys. Oh my goodness. Fabulous work. Whoever makes these, I'm so impressed. Wow. Oh, and look at their tumblers. Nana. If there's a Nana out there, they've got a tumbler just for you here. <laughs> oh, these are cute. Oh, they've got little magnets. Oh, today I choose joy. Yes, I do. Oh, and look, they've got their, it says jewelry by Brandy. They've got it um, on a screen. That's a clever way to display the jewelry. Oh, and it's gorgeous. So we'll go around here. Aw, in a world full of roses, 
be a sunflower. <laughs> and soaps. Oh, and they've got beaded bracelets. Ooh, those are pretty. Ooh, look at the purple. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that, how fancy. They've made roses out of some type of paper. So this is called Cotton Paw Boutique. So guys, if you're looking for a unique gift for someone, this will be the perfect place to come. Oh, look at those. Beautiful. Oh, and look at these. These are actually little pieces of wood, guys. Here's their business card for this uh, particular booth. Look at this, how fancy. Ooh, love it. Looks like they've got some um, beautiful dresses here, guys. Ooh, for spring or summer. Gorgeous. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at these fancy shoes. <laughs> It. Oh, they've got no cards. Oh, look how pretty that is. That's pretty enough just to make it a picture out of it, put it in a frame and put it on your wall. Oh, look at these just beautiful little thank you cards. Beautiful handmade. So guys, this is to all of y'all out there for me. Hey, I love you. <laughs> Here's some of their chalk paint or milk paint and their glazes. Is that, oh, that's milk paint. That's samples of the milk paint. Yeah, this is like an authentic milk paint, Sweet Pickens. Okay. And so you add water with it and it tends to give kind of a chippy finish to it. Oh. And you're not really sure whether it'll chip or not. There's a bond you can put in it that will help it to not chip, but it doesn't guarantee that it won't. So it's kind of like an old world kind of paint like they used back in the Was 40s. that painted with mm -hmm. it? Oh, okay. So this is a sample, guys, of the milk paint. My name is Julie and I opened the Weather Home in 2014. Terry is up there. She's been here forever. Um, and we do carry three different kinds of paints for furniture. Um, they're all designed differently, but so they don't peel like latex will. We also have other classes and things where we do iron orchid designs, which is the stamps. And we're kind of tearing things up right now, but uh, stamps and transfers. Like this is a transfer in here. Oh, let me see. And uh, oh, molds and different things beautiful. like that. Beautiful. So you do classes. We do lots of classes. Um, we what? do a lot of bring your own piece classes where if you have something of your own that you want to paint, um, something not terribly huge like maybe an end table or um, a chair. If you're wanting to get started on a dresser, you could bring like maybe three of the drawers or something like that. Um, yeah, we schedule those. We do have the website, which is the weatheredhome.store. And we're still working on that, but the classes will be listed on there. Um, a lot of our craft projects or craft supplies are already on there. Um, but we're still working on getting a lot of little things on there. Um, we have quite a few consigners. Most of them have been here most of the seven years that I've been in business. But um, we do a lot of little projects. We did a lot of pumpkins. Like these are some of the projects that we've done in the oh, past. Oh, they're Christmas beautiful. Trees. And, um, oh my gosh, how pretty. Yeah, those are using mold, so it's air dry clay. 
Oh my goodness. So if I wanted to make one of those, I would just uh, sign up online, come. If you can sign up online, if you have um, several people, at least like four people, that you might want to get together, it can be more than that, and you want to um, come up with a date that you can all agree on, and we can see if we can work around that also. Uh, we've had parties here before where you can bring refreshments if you like. Um, we've had Christmas parties where people have exchanged gifts and things like that while they're doing a project. Um, these are a couple of the projects we have coming up. We're still kind of working this out here. But these are shutters here that we've made the shutters. And then, see, they just start out just like a boring shutter, but we did make those. And then these are the molds that are on here. We have several different designs. There's also a mold where you can do letters. So you could put like your family name or anything else you want to put on there. There's lots of different molds if you're not into sunflowers, but those are of course very popular. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. And then here's some of your options of the designs to put on your artwork. Um, yeah, these over here are the transfers, the ones that have a lot of color in them. Okay. So those are, um, they're a lot more high quality than the ones that they had, like a lot of them back in maybe like the 60s or 70s. Mm. And you just kind of rub them on there. Um, it's two sisters that started the company a few years ago. Iron Orchid Designs is what they're called, and they're very popular. You can find them all over the internet. Is that an example here? This is an example of the background here is... Um, a stamp so we just put ink on it and then we, I just had all these together and stamped them oh. and then you, you know you can separate them and do different things if you like these are an example of the transfers oh, so the transfers beautiful. can go on furniture of course you can put them on walls um, you can put them on mirrors we've got a few mirrors up here and a couple windows that we've put them on oh I saw the mirror I loved it Thanks. <laughs> yeah that's a stamp down there with the wood grain the wood grain oh. stamp and then the birds and the branches are different ones also. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you have any, um, I guess, prices of what it would be to come to a class? Yeah, it just depends on what the class is. This one um, it uses quite a bit of the clay. These I actually use um, resin just to make these a little bit harder, but we can use the clay also. There's a few different things that you can use in the, the molds. Um, I can show you a mold back here. And that one, that class is $55. Okay. And that includes your finished product. That's everything that you need. Okay. And you can choose a lot of different finishes. Like there's the sunflower mold. Oh, look at that. So these are really cool. And Iron Orchid is a little different from some other companies because they created this micro trim edge here where it makes it really easy to kind of scrape it off and get a really clean oh, back. Yeah. And so a lot of them are just kind of inset. So we have lots of different molds. Um, we have a few on back order, so this is usually full. Would you actually um, have your product finished in one class or would you have to come to several? Um, like for the pumpkins, you can get it done in about a three and a half hour period. Some people were getting really intricate with little things. They were having so much fun that I told them they could come back. It was no big deal. There wasn't any extra class for that. Okay. So I think when we did the pumpkins, it was two pumpkins for, um, what we do, like 40 something dollars there. Okay. Um, like a bring your own piece. It depends on what you're doing. That usually is between 40 and $60. Okay. But you also get to use any paints. Um, you can try different um, waxes and different finishes and things like that. You don't have to just stick to one thing and you know, and that can last a while. And if you need to take a break or go get lunch or whatever, you, know, you can do that too. Or if you have a couple people, just holler at us and say, can we come in today or tomorrow? And oh my gosh. we'll say sure, we're here anyway. <laughs> and, uh, oh, well, it sounds we'll wonderful and it. it's absolutely beautiful here. I can't thank you enough for thank letting you. me just go around. Can you tell everyone the address of your store? Sure, we are located at 217 Avery Avenue in Morganton. And uh, we are open from 10 to 6, Tuesday through Saturday. Okay, and tell me your name again. My name is Julie. Okay, Julie, thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, you too. All right, bye-bye.